What's up, guys? Today we're going to show you how to make suman. Suman is a sweet Filipino rice cake steamed in banana leaves and can be eaten as merienda or dessert. To make suman, you'll first want to pour in three cups of long grain sweet rice into a bowl. Then, pour in enough water to fully submerge everything, and then some. The purpose of this is to help soften the rice a bit. Allow the sweet rice to soak for one hour. Afterwards, strain the rice from the water. And then drop the rice into a deep pan. From here, you'll want to pour in 1 and 3 fourths cups of coconut milk. Followed by 3 fourths of a cup of fresh coconut cream. If you don't use fresh coconut cream, your suman might end up sticking to your banana leaves after you cook them. Next, set your stove to medium heat and continuously stir everything for about 5 to 10 minutes. Eventually, you'll start to feel the mixture slightly thicken a bit, but not too much. At this point, add in 1 and a half cups of sugar and keep stirring continuously for another 8 to 12 minutes. What we're aiming to do is to only cook the sweet rice halfway through because we're going to continue to cook it later in the steamer. You can check to see if your sweet rice is halfway cooked by biting into a single grain. It should break easily but still be a little hard. Once the sweet rice mixture is ready to go, it's time to start wrapping up your suman. Before starting, you'll want to have the following items ready to go. A steamer tray, a bowl of water, cleaned banana leaves cut into squares, and ties cut from the banana leaves. To start, first take a banana leaf and lay it out flat in front of you. Next, using a tablespoon, horizontally place three scoops of suman mixture a little off center like so, and use your fingers to even it out. While you're doing this, your fingers will get pretty sticky, so it's nice to have a bowl of water to quickly rinse in between. Afterwards, fold over the bottom edge of your banana leaf and roll your suman forward. As you're rolling, try to maintain the original shape of your suman. And be gentle with it so that you don't squish it to the point where the suman mixture starts coming out of the ends. Once it's completely rolled, position the exposed edge of the leaf so that it's centered and facing up. Next, using your fingers, feel for where the suman is on one end. As soon as you find it, make a fold to seal it in. And then just do the same thing on the other end. When you're done, place the folded ends face down and set it aside. Now go ahead and just make another one. Wrapping suman can be a little challenging at first, but it'll get easier with practice. When you're done wrapping your second suman, stack your first suman on top of it so that their folded sides are pressed up against each other. Afterwards, take one of your ties and tuck it underneath and then firmly but gently tie a double knot. And then tie up the other end as well. Once it's done, it should look something like this. Now, just place it sideways into your steamer tray. And then just wrap the rest of your suman. If for some reason you run out of ties as you're wrapping suman, one thing you can do is rip off a small section of one of your banana leaves and tear off thin strips to use as ties. Or you could also just use some sort of string or twine. We filled up our first steamer tray, so we ended up needing to stack an additional tray for more room. Once you're done, all you have to do is steam your suman. We heated water in our steamer to a light simmer beforehand, so it was all ready to go. Place the lid on your steamer and steam your suman for about 45 minutes to an hour. If you find that the sweet rice isn't fully cooked by the time is up, you can continue to steam your suman. Just make sure not to overcook them, otherwise they might turn out mushy. After your suman are done, remove them from the tray and allow them to cool for a couple minutes. When you're ready to eat one, just undo or snip the ties off. Unravel the banana leaf. And dig in! It's Telegung Tasty!